we're up to hasten, uh, browning on all sides. Now I can remove it and then I'll do my vegetables. All right, I've added my two tablespoons of tomato paste once my vegetables became transparent and let that cook, cook down. And then I added two cups of red wine, nothing expensive, just cheap uh, cabaret red wine. So I'm gonna let this cook down, cook all the alcohol out of it. And we'll check back in the next step. It's important that you cook out the alcohol because the wine is acidic and you want to make sure you um, cook it out for that reason. Once you cook it all the way out, then in red wine it kind of becomes sweet. So keep that in mind when you're adding wine to whatever you're cooking. You want to cook out the alcohol as well as when you're adding tomato paste, you want to make sure you cook it out. Cook it down real good. So I'm going to let this cook for about 5 or 10 minutes. It'll come to a little ball. And I'll bring you guys back at the next step. I went ahead and added my portobello mushrooms. And uh, my sprig of rosemary. I also want to let you guys know that um, you don't have to use red wine. You can use a beef stock or chicken stock or just water. But I chose to use the red wine because I was following the recipe that I saw on Mom and Papa Joe's YouTube channel. So it's all about experimenting. So I still smell the alcohol in this, so I'm going to continue to let it cook until I don't smell any alcohol. And then I'll go ahead and add my squirrel that I braised in olive oil. And then we'll put it in the oven for about um, two hours. And I'll check it periodically, uh, every 30 minutes or so, and see how it's going. This is the polenta. You can pick this up at your Kroger, Walmart. It's almost like grits, but a coarser. Uh, grain and you cook it just like a grit. I didn't video the actual cooking, but it, I put one cup of water, two cups of um, milk, and um, as it started um, dissipating the liquid, I added a cup of Parmesan cheese to it. Uh, I also added a um, teaspoon of salt to it while it was cooking, so this is what you call polenta. Tastes really nice, my first time trying it. Over here in the skillet, portobello mushrooms along with bacon bits, and this will go as a side dish to the polenta uh, once you serve it up on your plate. I got the squirrel. Oven here, I'm getting ready to take it out. Um, the 325 degrees. It's been in there for, um, I set it for two hours, it's been in there an hour and a half, so I'm gonna take it out and check it. But, but yeah, it's coming along fine, so I'll stay tuned. We're an hour in, 325 in the oven, I took it out to check it. And that squirrel looks succulent. Let it go to full two hours. If you need to go over a little bit, I'll take it over a little bit. But the carrots are semi soft, so by the time that hour is up, that may be good enough. After two hours, got that squirrel pulling off the bone. So I'm going to remove the meat and drain the liquids and that'll be my my braising sauce that I'll pour over the polenta okay. 
Hey you guys, I'm almost wrapping this thing up. I got my polenta. It's done. Ready to go. I added my Parmesan cheese. So that dish is done. I've taken my squirrel out of the pot and I've strained the juices and I'm left with this beautiful gravy here. Yeah. Man. Squirrel there looking all succulent. So I'm getting ready to plate this bugger up here, boy. So y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, we're getting ready to plate this meal up. We're ready to plate it up. Got the polenta. With Parmesan cheese here. Got about a cup and a half with Parmesan cheese in it. We're going to take this mushroom and bacon bitch sauteed together. Put it on the side here. Mmm, that smells good. Then we're going to come back with the main thing here. Mm -hmm. That squirrel. That fox squirrel. Got the ribs showing why I cooked them down so good in the oven and that cast iron. Last but not least. This is the gravy that I drain off of everything. The braising liquid from the, from the oven. So we're gonna add that to it like this. Yeah, boy. Yes, sir. Add a little romaine lettuce to that. And top it off with a little parsley. There you have it, guys. Sucking that meal. Brazen squirrel with polenta. I want to thank you guys for tuning in on today's episode. Taste and Tales Outdoors, where I showed you guys how to prepare brazen squirrel with polenta. Hey, God bless you guys. Stay safe out there. Peace. My second helping. <laughs>